420 things grow in Ontario. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. And today we have an unboxing of a brand, brand new product. This was sent to me by AC Infinity to do some testing. So uh, shout out to them. And if you're looking for this product or any other AC Infinity product, there's a bunch of um, coupon codes, Amazon, eBay. If you want to use it on their site, it's 420 things grow as of this video, as of right now, as I'm saying it, but it changed from time to time. Check the pinned comment, check the, the description, it's all there. But let's get into this. I have the smaller version and the larger version of this, so this is exciting because the small one, it's great for like a 2x2, two 2x4, two, two and then the big one, well, for a 4x4, four four, it may be a little bit overkill. You're filling it up a whole bunch of times, big space, takes up a lot of room. That's more like 5x5, five 4x8. Five, this one right here, right in between that Goldilocks zone. Uh, I'm going to do another video after this video or in the future of comparing all three models. Uh, and, and we're going to see what it is. But this is the T5 humidifier by AC Infinity. Ooh, we got the big pipe, like the T7. Okay, let's get this whole thing out here. As always, well packaged. Their signature black foam, you know. Okay, here's the uh, container, all black. I like the fact that it's all black and not see-through. Uh, more foam. We got the base here. Boom, boom, boom. We got some cables, and we got the bottom of the box. So. This is a first look. You're seeing me as I open it. Uh, so we got the power cord here. We got a UIS. No, let's not say that. Let's see what it is. It is a, yeah, no, it's not a UIS. It is a, one of the headphone jack style um, sensor cords. If you want to plug it right into the unit and you don't have any of the controllers, this will get your temps and humidities. Okay, this also has a UIS cable and this is a mail to mail okay gen 2 mail to mail cable and then we have the dispersal unit i guess you would call it so you want to put this outside of your tent and you want to pipe in the humidity of course it doesn't go this way but you know what i have a handy dandy knife here a little razor blade you're going to cut that off okay so it says you're going to want to go in and make sure the hose is tilted upwards okay so when you go into the tent i know on the original uh t3 you couldn't do that because the water would go back down this one uh you want it straight up okay you don't want it down like this and like this you don't want it like this you want it straight up into your tent okay so that you're going to get no drippage in the tent and you're going to get nice cool mist mist going into you and humidifying your area okay and that goes onto the top here there's a little uh there's like a uh yeah what uh, this is a, a, a fill tank this is how you fill it you put it on here boom boom that covers your your your, your tank and then uh this i'm assuming comes out somehow but i am not it's got dual oh that's cool so it has dual ports so when you if you're using this right inside the older ones just had one come out and come out this one looks like it's got dual you can move them around point them the way you want it so that's cool i like that and uh then yeah that's it i mean it's pretty simple this plug that plug and this now let's get into the details of this let's get the book out here because this is usually where the meat and potatoes and stuff is okay okay so it says push and lift the side of the directional flow cap to release it so there's a bit of an edge here on the outside edge i push that in and it's come off okay so then there's a, the inner one too it comes off as well because that's kind of it's in there in the middle but this outer one helps pull it off that's cool then you can put your your hose in here there's like a, a lock there's like a, a a groove spot for it to go in there's only one way it can go in and it's this way. I guess maybe there's two ways you can go in because of the way it is. It's got the, uh, so if you can see this right here, it's got the same thing that you have in here. It's like a little, like a, a little piece like this. So it, it, it kind of goes in together. You don't want to be careful with that, man. You don't want that to break. 
because that is probably pretty um, pretty flimsy. But that's how you lock it into this thing. So this also has one of those. So when you get it in here, you also got these grooves. See these grooves, these little on either side? There's a flat spot, a flat spot. Boom, click, click, you heard it, went, it, it kind of bent in. Be careful with that, because that is flimsy. You don't want to be messing with that too much. But that's how it goes in, okay? And then you can put that on the outside of the tent. Okay, so this piece lifts out, okay? There's a float here. There is this thing here. What is this? There's a, there's a, a float. There's a float here up. Maybe this is the packing foam that comes in with the device. It looks like it's like a filter of some sort. We'll put that aside for a second. So the the the, the, the documentation says please remove foam uh, from the uh, like shipping foam. In mine, in this prototype testing unit, there was no foam. Be on the lookout for it. That sort of purpose-built looking thing, definitely not something you get rid of. Okay, so this is not, I repeat, this is not the uh, foam thing that you're supposed to remove. Because I just found a sticker on the front of the unit that says, and I repeat, do not remove cotton pad from base. This pad prevents calcium buildup. That's cool, man. It's a little cleaner for when you clean it out. This is a little handy little nebulizer brush that helps with when you're when you're cleaning this out here down at the bottom in between uses or in between runs or even when you need to do it so key features of this item smart controls touch interface offers 10 warm cool va warm slash cool vapor levels humidity and vpd triggers plus timer cycle modes for automatic automated humidity this is the quick start is there not a book is that all it came with no it's all it came with right features we're gonna keep going here uv light kills bacteria and ensures that only pure germ-free mist is dispersed into the environment promoting healthier plant growth oh there's a uv light in here that's cool i wonder where it is where the heck would it be oh i see it. it's right here so right down in the unit it's a led light right here in the middle just below this little this rectangular flap an led light there little UV LED light that's cool uh, let's put that back in there so we don't miss anything <laughs> and more key features let's keep going here let's see what else it has uh, UIS compatible duh this is gonna be plugged into my controller for sure targeted zone includes a stretchable hose to directly feed vapor spot areas yeah yeah no no doubt intelligent sensor Swiss made corded pro precisely measures temperature humidity VPD that's that this probe which I'm gonna use the one that comes with the controller and precision motor PWM start motor guides at 10 speed levels to maximize unification based on your current environmental readings so yeah man step one put water they recommend using distilled water I use RO water step two uh, the flow cap or the hose right and then uh, when you put the hose in, put it straight up, straight up, and then uh, plug in your sensor for using the sensor and then put it in. All right, so we've gone through the levels here. We've gone through level one all the way through level 10. And at level 10, you can definitely see there's a lot more mist coming out. At level 10, it would be an overkill for a two by four. But if you were to use it at like level one or two, you could probably use it in a two by four and not have to fill the water up every day or so, right? So you'd get a lot longer use out of this tank in a smaller tent versus a larger tent. And that being said, this, this hose gives you just about, I don't know, 11 feet of, of distance. You can stretch it out. So you can get it and put it wherever you need to be. Cleaning is straight, pretty easy. You're going to be using vinegar and water. Um, that's how you're going to clean almost every uh, humidifier that you have. At least that's how we do it here in our place. Um, and then uh, you're going to want to clean that that little that little white nebulizer thing that's down in there with that brush. Uh, and uh, you're going to want to do that as needed, right? Like cleaner the better for sure. Sure. There's a uh, so right here. In this little cap, there's a, a filter, a little foam filter. You want to clean that every once in a while. That's handy. 
also when you're cleaning in the vinegar water that'll be it and then you put that back in that is in the bottom of the tank um, at the uh, in the corner it's kind of where this, this this float is here this is your water float so if it's sitting there like this no water's coming out as soon as you push up on that or put it in the, well put it in the unit that's when it'll start dumping water it'll start bubbling in and that's it man like this is a pretty what does this sound like refill water distilled water only change water at least once every four days clean and maintain your unit at least once per week that's what it says on top of this um now that being said um this is that mid-range size right so in a two by four this will last a few more than a few days uh, in a 5x5, five five, it's not going to last a few days. I mean, sorry, let's get back. It all depends on how much you're humidifying, right? If you're only humidifying every once in a while, it's going to last a long time, right? This, the T5, this is a 9 liter jug. The smaller T3, it's 4.5. And the big T7 is 15 liters, right? So it's like, sort of like right in between, right? 4.5 to 9, 9 to, you know, to, to 15. It's not double, but again... It, it, it's nine nine and 15 so that's what you got you got four and a half nine 15 liter variants between the uh, humidifiers that AC infinity has so yeah this is that middle ground um, as uh, of, of, of launch time I'm not sure what the price point on this is gonna be um, the smaller one is sixty nine dollars the large one is one hundred and sixty nine dollars and that's all the time the filming of this 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 video it could change from time to time and sales and tariffs and all that kind of stuff um but i'm assuming that it's going to be more than 69 and less than 169 sort of makes sense right <laughs> middle of the pack but again man a, 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 a unit that is good for uh multiple different things depending if you're in las vegas and it's super dry and you got to run your humidifier 24 7 you probably want to go with the seven right I mean, you probably wouldn't want to go to 7 or 2 by 4 to be overkill. But, I mean, in theory, you could, right? You plug it into your UIS. You plug it in. Boom, away you go. But if you were like, ah, that's too big. I don't want it's too bulky. It takes up a whole lot of room because it does. It's it's quite big. And it's got its own stand. And it's probably about this tall. Um, and the other one's too small. This one is what's going to be for you. I really like the fully enclosed dark water chamber. That's, that's huge, right? So... And just to let you know that there is a battery, a uh, this product contains a button cell or coin battery. It's a warning. I guess it's a choking hazard, maybe. I'm not sure. Ingestion hazard. Yep, that's what it is, a choking hazard. Uh, the battery, I'm assuming, is for the display, which is on the front here. Um, so, yeah, there's a, what else we got here? We have a, we have a little filter here. I'm assuming that's for, like, a, an air intake so that when it, you know, heats up that it's, getting nice clean air in there maybe no pollen no 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 dust no whatever you got and <laughs> front side there's a front and a back well again we only go one way because of the stuff in the bottom and yeah that's it so i know in a lot of my videos i i, I never go over uh this display why i'm going to be honest with everybody who wants to know something about this display i don't use the display why because i use the controllers man i use it right on my phone i'm using all the controls on my phone i was out of town i was able to control everything from my out of town it gives you alerts it tells you when stuff's low it tells you a bunch of stuff man if you're not if you're using ac and premium products and you can afford to get one of those controllers by all means get one of the controllers man it is game changer for automation all that stuff so um i don't know what i do without it now like it seems like before like, man, it's it's so easy when you can just go on your phone and check it real quick. I'll be laying in bed. Oh, did I turn that off? I can check. So that's how I'm going to be using it. Uh, it's going to be used with the um, with the app and the Controller 69 Pro AI. Or the, I mean, it, it connects to... I Do I have one I can test it on? I'm going to test it on all products um, during the testing phase here before this gets released. Uh, if you're watching this video, it's been released. I don't know what the release date is now, but yeah. So that's it, guys. I'm going to cut it short here. Not short because it's a pretty long video. Um, and again, we're just going over the unboxing first looks of this. It's pretty cool, man. Seven liters instead of four and a half. So you get, you know, uh, no, nine instead of four and a half, right? Nine? Yeah, nine. So double the T3. That's cool. 
you thought the T3, you had the T3 and you're like, man, I want to upgrade, but the T7's, you know, way too much, maybe the T5's for you. Check the links in the description, head on over to their website, head on over to eBay. Uh, sometimes you'll see stuff on, on their website because it's pre-order. You might see it there before you'd see it on eBay or Amazon or all those other platforms. But I got codes for all of that. Check them out. They'll be in the first pinned comment. They'll be in the description of the video. And if you have any comments or questions and you want me to try something, minus the screen, <laughs> hit me up in the in the in the comments and we'll uh, we'll we'll discuss because I like uh, uh, I forget what the last product was, but somebody brought something like that's a great idea and I start and I'm using it. So um, hit me up. I usually answer. Uh, I don't see why I wouldn't answer, but hit me up. Like, subscribe, and do all that jazz. Yeah.